Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is a full review, this is by James Healy, it's called Aga Wood, which is very clever. And <laughs> this one, I've just sprayed it on a test strip because I don't want to put it on my body again, but um, this one opens, well I'll talk about the note list first, it's a very very simple note list. The notes for this are Oud, Bulgarian Rose, Benzoin and Incense, that's all of the notes in the fragrance listed. What I get when I first apply it is a very smooth uh, oud note. Now, at the beginning you do get a light hint of rose. It's not massively pungent, it's more subtle. The, the woody oudiness is the main focus for me. With a nice kind of fresh balance of rose there, it's present, you can smell the floral. It's a little bit brighter, it's a little bit fresh. It's quite a nice rose note. It mixes well, obviously, with a very smooth kind of oud. The oud, this particular oud to me, has no major funk or animalic notes. It's incredibly mellow and smooth and not hugely, doesn't have much character, should I say, in terms of oud. Now, I will say that I don't think it's real oud, personally. I might be wrong. It is possible that it's natural. I'm I'm saying that because of the longevity, it lasts suspiciously long, which to me hints that it's more probably a synthetic oud. Um, so there you go. But we'll talk about the the performance a little later. I get a very mellow, clean, woody smell. Uh, it might be real oud. It might not be and you have a bright fresh rose it works very nice it's very smooth it's very mellow very likable there's not much else though that's pretty much it <laughs> as it dries down you kind of lose the rose after about the two hour two to three hour mark the rose starts fading back and you get really pretty much just a balance of the very smooth woody notes uh, with a slight amberiness. I don't really get incense in this fragrance. There's, I don't smell like frankincense notes or anything. There's no like smoky incense going on. It's more smooth wood. Smooth, dark, kind of uh, woody notes. No animalics, no funk. Very, very smooth, very clean. With a hint of a very smooth amber, just like a benzoin, basically. And a very... When you wear it, there is kind of an aura of a... Musk isn't listed on the notes, but you do get an aura of a musty quality, like an aura to it of a mustiness. Um, so, so there's that. And basically, it doesn't change then. From once you've lost the rose, it stays like that. Smooth wood, a little bit of resin, amber. There's no major sweetness in any of this to me, which is good. I actually prefer that. Uh, so it just tails away as that and it smells like that for a really really long time in terms of performance for this i would i would say generally 12 hours longevity however when i woke up the next day and into the next afternoon i could faintly smell it on my hand as a soft skin scent so up to 20 hours it was still there kind of uh, noticeable not projecting or anything just as literally as a soft skin scent in certain places on my hand um, 20 hours later so but I'm gonna say 12 hours longevity as a very soft skin scent but you kind of notice it 20 hours later so very very long lasting which is why I think probably more of a synthetic oud it might be it might use a little bit it might use a bit of both it might have a little bit of natural and some synthetic to bulk it out I don't know uh, but it's unusual for a natural oud to last 12 to 20 at well 20 hours in a put in an atar, maybe, but as a diluted in alcohol perfume, not really. So <laughs> they kind of cap out like six to eight hours normally for a natural oud. So for like 20 hours, I'm, I'm guessing it's synthetic. So that aside, uh, it does smell good though. I actually like it. I think it's a good fragrance. It's not the most interesting. I think it's very safe. As far as rose ouds go, it's not unique. It's it's a very smooth, clean oud with a nice bright rose opening top note that just goes into a little bit of amber and, and smooth wood. That's it. It's not mind-blowing. In terms of uh, rose oud fragrances, I think they're really, really overdone and kind of a bit redundant because there's just so many of them. This 
doesn't really stand out among the rest, uh, but it, it's a pleasant combination. It's a combination that obviously works, and this one does smell good. So um, there's that, but in uniqueness, it's not there, but as a functional, good smelling perfume, if you like oud, you like rose, it works fine. Uh, but yeah, not scoring massively for creativity. <laughs> I would say it's unisex personally, and it's a cold weather fragrance in my opinion. It's not so crazy that uh, you couldn't wear it to work, I think you could probably pull it off without offending anyone, It's there's no animalics, there's no funk, it's not ridiculously strong or cloying, there's no massive dose of sweetness, Teddy's walking off here, um, so I think you could pull it off probably at work, but for me it would be more of an evening fragrance than a daytime one and you could wear it casual or dressed up. I think if you were wearing a suit and you wore this, it would work fine. Um, so fairly versatile for the cool weather. And like I say, unisex, it doesn't strike me as any gender. Um, so that's about all I can say. It's very long lasting, it's very pleasant, but it's maybe a little bit simple and it's not particularly unique, but it is nicely done. It'd be nice maybe if there's a little bit more interest there, but it's very pleasant nonetheless, and I enjoyed wearing it. Um, so there you go, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon with another one. Take care.